Hello and welcome to Dia's Fun Play. In today's video, let's see what is an integrated coconut and fish farming. So let's start with a coconut tree. Every single part of a coconut tree is useful to mankind. A coconut tree is a blessing to tropical economies, providing livelihoods and economic opportunities for millions of people across the world. A coconut tree is important for many reasons. The inner flesh, milk and water of the coconut are staple food in tropical and subtropical regions across the world. Also, coconut water is high in manganese which is important for bone health. The flesh is high in good fats, fiber and vitamins A, D, E and K. Coconut oil is mainly used in cooking, soaps, body lotions and hair oils. Coconut wood is used to build bridges and huts. The husk and shells are used as fuel. The leaves of the coconut palm are used to weave baskets, mats and used in roofing. The fiber from the husk can be used to make ropes, mats, brooms and sacks. Coconut tree can make a landscape vibrant and alive. Fish farming is also known as aquaculture. It is the practice of raising fish and other aquatic organisms for commercial purposes. More than 3 billion people across the world rely on fish and seafood as a significant source of animal protein. Fish farming provides a reliable source of protein that contributes to global food security. Fish farming creates many jobs and supports local economies especially in rural areas. It also saves time for fishermen, thereby allowing them to pursue other economic activities instead of spending days in the sea. Fish farming provides an alternative food source to fishes caught in the wild. Integrated farming system is a management system that aims to deliver a more sustainable agriculture. Integrated farming includes modern tools and technologies with traditional practices and employing many cultivation techniques in a small growing area. Canal irrigation system in coconut farming was getting popular due to the fact that coconut requires a lot of water to grow. Many farmers have adopted this method to grow coconuts. Good news is that fishes can be grown in the same water canal that are used to irrigate the coconut trees. It's up to the farmer to choose regular fishes or ornamental fishes for rearing. Ornamental fishes like koi can fetch a good price compared to regular fishes that are used for human consumption. By integrating fish and coconut farming, farmers can hope for good profits. Thanks for watching DS1 Play. See you in the next video. Subscribe for more videos. Light up subscribe right here, right now. Don't forget, press the bell icon. The choice is yours. Yes, fun play.